everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last episode, Making an EVA Foam, Asajj Ventress Lightsaber Part 1, you saw us shape the body, you saw us put all these straps on, you saw us make a layer up and wrap this cool detail piece on the end. So it gave us a little recess in here and a step down. You saw us do the inset buttons and the little spot there where the beam comes out. Uh, everything went down totally smooth. So now, in this episode, making an EVA foam, Asajj Ventress lightsaber part two, we're gonna finish the wrap around the bottom and we're gonna do this, what looks like a half submerged rod along both sides. That's a really cool detail. And uh, then after that, we're gonna seal it and paint it all in this episode. It's gonna rock. Um, and the paint job is super easy, easier than the build. We always say that the paint job is always easier than the build. And guess what? Tonight, the paint job is easier than the build. So uh, there we go, enough of me flopping my lips. If you're ready to hit it, let's make something. All right, so what we did was we took a four millimeter and a two millimeter piece. We used our sharpened brass tubes. We popped out the four and we popped out the two. And now. Just like that. So. All right, there we go. See that? Nice. Just a little tiny step up detail. Now, we'll... All right, so what we've got is that. See that down in there? We've got a recess way down in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in with our little piece. And we wanted to be able to look in there and see that detail down on the inside. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to come in. We're going to get this all the way down in the center. All right, we got it. Now we're going to get our finger in there, hold it down until it bonds, and now look in there. Wow, that is cool. All right, very cool. Those are the kind of little details that make your prop really jam. Perfect. All right, there we go. We've got two little rivet marks there and there. Perfect. Okay, now we've got our two templates for the back end of our piece. This first one's going to be out of three millimeter because we want it a little thicker than this piece. Now let's leave some extra because we want to do a measurement. All right. That actually might be perfect. It's a hair short. But when we wrap it tight, we can get it to match up perfectly. So we're gonna go with that as is. All right, now what we also did, is, if you can notice, is we made this piece a little bit long on the end, okay? See that, how this hangs over the end? And the reason we wanna do that is when this is done being wrapped, we want there to be a little recess right in here where the handle is. So. All right, give it a few minutes. Right in the center, just like that. Around our shoulder, just like that. Wrap it real tight. All right, now what we want to do is we want to really stretch here because we, we made this piece shorter on purpose. There we go. All right, here we go. Coming around to the business end. Looks like we're gonna be right on the money, but guess what we forgot to do? This is the second time we forgot to do this. Right on the end of here. And Take your time, be careful. There we go. All right, now we're gonna heat seal the whole thing just to get a nice extra little layer of sealing on there. See that? Look at how it's tightening up. 
right, there we go. Okay, now coming down to the end, we've got one, another wrap we need to do around here. So we're gonna cut this out of two millimeter foam. Now don't forget, we have to do a measurement. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this, but we're gonna cut it extra long so we can do our test. All right, and... Here, and you've seen us doing this already. Because we're stretching it really tight, we're gonna cut it a little bit short, like that. See our mark right here? But we're gonna move it in, we're gonna cut it a little bit short so that when we stretch it, it's gonna wrap around there and be tight on tight. Right there and right there. All right. Give it a few minutes and then bam, contact. Because we want a nice tight wrap and we cut it a little bit short. We keep forgetting to get cement on the edge so that when they come together, they stick. Match our end up right there. And all the way down, it's gonna match our end up. All right, there we go. Look at that. All right, now we're gonna do our final little round details for the base of our lightsaber. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to have to layer up two pieces. So what we're going to do is this, is this piece is gonna go on the two millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna trace out two of these because we've got to do two of these details. So. Wow, look at that sharp line. Man, that's insane. We're gonna go ahead and say it again. Go to your Michaels website, buy yourself a bunch of these recollections, medium tip. Man, they make a sharp, sharp silver line on your phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we are going to cut this center circle. There we go, just like that. Perfect. All right, now we've got another detail we need to do. We're gonna cut out the second circle on this template. We've got all of our pieces drawn out. All right, there we go. We cut these out. Now we're gonna give this a couple minutes till it dries, then we're gonna stick it together, then we're gonna do two more little details on it, and it'll be... There we go. All right. We're gonna come in. Keep the knife standing up because we want to do a nice smooth pivot all the way around. All right, now you want to be careful and you want to line it right back up with where we started. We're going to get our heat gun cranking and we're going to open up that cut with heat. There we go. Look at that. an exacto and the heat gun. Now, what we're going to do is this. Now we're gonna come in and cut out this other template. Pivot right through our Sharpie line all the way around. Perfect. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out our Dremel and we're gonna round the edge off. Now we're going to come in with our heat gun. We're going to tighten it all up. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to hold it down real tight while it bonds. Whoa, almost got my glove stuck on there. All right. 
tight. That is tight. All right, let's do the same thing over here. A lot went into that little piece right there. We got it on both sides. Zzz, zzz. All right, now what we're going to do is we're gonna be coming in here with this piece and it's gonna be curving right onto the handle just like that. So we're going to come down. There we go. So we're just gonna lay these right next to each other like that. Perfect. That's exactly where it's going to go now, but now comes the tricky part. Here. There's all of our marks right there. See all those little silver marks? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now what we're gonna do is this. This is going to be tricky. Okay, now we're gonna come in and we're gonna stick our knife in right in the center. And then we're gonna come right over to our mark and we're going to cut all the way through like that. All right, see what we did right there? Just like that, we cut straight through the halfway point and we cut that little end piece in half. And the reason we're doing that is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna set this right on there and it's gonna fit right inside that space like that. Now we're just gonna go all the way through the rest of our marks, just like that. All right, now every one of these little halves that we cut out will fall right where it's supposed to fall. So this is gonna go to here to here. Holy cow, is that nice. All right. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna round off these ends. All right, there we go. The first part's attached. Now we're just gonna go all the way through. Insane, look at that detail. So what we did was we slowly took our time we made our marks at every little spot. We came in, we slit halfway through here, 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 and here. And then we cut the end away. So now if you can see, this is a whole complete round dowel right here, here, and here. But then these little pieces are halved so that it lays flat. Look at that. Man, is that cool. What a detail. All right, there we go. We've got both sides done. All right, we're gonna come in with our super rough bit. We're gonna... Now we're gonna come in with the smooth bit. Now we're gonna come in real quick with our 220 and we're just gonna hit it right there. All right, and then we're gonna get in there with our 320. We're gonna seal that raw foam right there. Okay, there we go. That's smooth now right there. Looking. All right, so with that last dremeling detail, that brings the build portion of our Asajj Ventress lightsaber build to a close.
We just covered it with a few coats of Plasti Dip out of the spray stand, looking good. All right, we're gonna let it set up and dry, then we're gonna begin painting it. All right, here we go. We're out of the spray stand. We're gonna coat our hilt for our lightsaber, and we're gonna use our flat antique nickel, which is the exact metallic look we want. And you know what we always say, do not spray even outside without your respirator on. Very cool, look at that. We got inside every crevice that is completely coated. And it's gonna come in with our gloss black. Now we're gonna come in with no masking off. We're just gonna use the square edge of our brush. We're gonna come in right along here. And then we're gonna come right to this little inside edge like that just to get it see that right in there like that all right there we go we've got one band painted now after that dries we'll go over it with a second coat and now we're just gonna keep going down these bands right here. And there we go, that's one layer down. Now, we'll so once this dries, we're gonna hit it with a second coat and it's gonna really fill in, it's gonna be nice and glossy. And All right, now we're gonna come in with our apple red while our black is drying. Get right down in this little gap here for the switch. You want this little switch to be red. Pretty simple. Second coat. Oh yeah, that's really filling in now. All right, there we go, two coats of red. So we went this way on all of our pieces, and now we're gonna go across this way to fill it in. Look at that. Wow, look at the difference already from there to there. That is filling in nice. Perfect, look at how solid that is, wow. All right, there we go, now that's a pure black but it's matte finish black. Now be... All right, just like that. Take your time, be careful. And like we said, as it dries, this part will be matte black compared to the gloss black. And there we go. Very simple color scheme. Metal lightsaber, gloss black here matte black in here, red button. Very nice. All right. And with that, our Asajj Ventress lightsaber build comes to a close. Wow, super easy, like we always say. Turned out great. You saw us do this little wrap on the end. You saw us do this really cool detail on the side with this rod, how we kind of halved the uh, foam dowel in some of those spots so it went up and down inside the, the, the uh, straps there on the side. Totally cool and totally easy. Um, turned out great. Love this thing. Um, that's it.
That uh, pretty much concludes making an EVA foam massage Ventress lightsaber part two. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.